So what if one was closer? Let's just say you wouldn't need to worry about your mortgage anymore. If a magnetar was just 100 light years away, still a huge distance, and it had one of these star quakes, the initial flash of gamma rays would be brighter than the sun, instantly vaporizing the side of Earth facing it. The ozone layer would be gone in a puff of smoke. The oceans would literally begin to boil. It's the ultimate cosmic kill shot. There's no defense, no hiding. It's a complete system-wide sterilization event. Okay, everybody take a breath. Don't go selling your stuff and heading for a bunker just yet. The good news is that space is ridiculously, wonderfully, almost comically big. The chances of a magnetar being close enough to us to be a threat are practically zero. They are incredibly rare, and the known ones are safely tucked away on the other side of the galaxy, where we can study them from a very, very safe distance. And that's the real point. These objects aren't just cosmic horror stories. They are the most extreme laboratories in the universe. They push physics to its absolute breaking point. They show us what's possible when you take the fundamental forces of nature and turn the dial up to a million. They remind us that the universe isn't just a quiet black canvas with pretty twinkling lights. It's a dynamic, violent, and active place. It's a cosmic zoo filled with creatures more strange and powerful than we could ever invent. So the next time you feel like you're having a bad day, just remember the magnetar. Remember that somewhere out there, a city-sized star with the power of a quadrillion suns might be having a little fit and that we are incredibly, wonderfully lucky to be here safe and sound just watching the show. What do you think is the most terrifying object in space? A magnetar, a black hole, or something else entirely? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I read them all, especially the first ones. I'd love to see what you guys think.